I debated whether or not to make this video because one, I'm not sure if anyone really is, is interested in this topic. And two, I, I wasn't sure if it's something that I was ready to share, but I thought, let me make it, post it, why not? So I'm sure you know I made a video a while back where I talked about how I would be traveling and all that stuff. And I'm going to be traveling very, very soon, uh, sooner than expected, actually. I have uh, a, a lot of travel plans. But something happened. There was an unintended consequence to that. And that consequence was that I had to downsize my collection, which, which I've started to do, which was at first a very sad thing. And there was a lot of comments, you know, people saying, oh, it's so sad to, you know, see you get rid of your books. But it's the complete opposite. It's actually really fun. And that's what this video is about. I just wanted to say that I'm actually enjoying downsizing my collection because I know that my books are pretty much going to people here on the channel, right? It's, it's subscribers. It's people who follow the channel. And that makes it extra cool. Like there's something about packing the book, you know, and, and mailing it to a subscriber. Like I'm actually doing it myself, which it just feels very, I don't know, I don't want to use the word intimate, but it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool that I'm able to, to connect with my audience in that way, I guess is what I'm trying to say. And it's not something that I ever really thought could happen. I always thought there'd be a lot of barriers to this, but it's working so far. Uh, a few people have received their books and they're happy. So, so far, so good. I'm keeping a lot of my books. I actually have a ton of books I'm keeping and I'm storing those, so I'm not, I'm not getting rid of all my books, but I am downsizing, and it's gonna take me, it'll probably take me a long time, months, uh, maybe a year, maybe two years. I, I have thousands of books. I have a, an enormous collection, so I'm just gonna try to get rid of them um, as I can. So yeah, that's all I wanted to say. Short, random video, uh, just to tell you that sometimes negative things or things that you think are gonna be negative turn out to be really positive. And I think this is a really good example of something that for me was very difficult to do. I, I had a very hard time making the decision to, you know, start to downsize my collection. But by doing so, uh, I've done a bunch of things, right? I, I've, I feel like I'm connecting more with my subs. I'm downsizing my collection, so I have less books. I can keep, you know, some of my favorite ones. I am getting some of my, I, I wanna emphasize, I'm getting rid of some really good books. Uh, very unique books, one of a kind books, you know, the kind of books that there's only one copy on the internet, that, that those types of books, extremely, extremely rare books. And they're going to subs, subscribers are picking them up. And I, and I think that's extra cool. So yeah, random video. I just wanted to make it because it's cool. It's, it's really cool. And I'm actually having a lot of fun uh, listing them on eBay and taking the pictures. And I know that like, you know, people are bidding and they're watching them. And it's just fun for me. It's fun. As a collector uh, you know, of many things, it's fun. The hardest part of collecting things is getting rid of them. I have other things I collect too, and I've thought about you know, getting rid of those too, and I do have to get rid of some of those things, but uh, I'm not ready yet. So at some point, maybe I'll start listing those things on, on, my, uh, on my eBay store. Apparently I have an eBay store now, which was really, again, an unintended consequence. Uh, I did not realize how much Energy and effort and work goes into taking my physical books and, you know, putting them on eBay so that subscribers can bid. That, that is, it's a big task. It's a big task. It takes hours to pack and, you know, to post the, to post the books uh, takes a very long time. So, so I'm just going to take it slow, list a couple a day or when I can and, and check out my store for books. And yeah, just a random video where I just I wanted to say that I'm enjoying it and it's a really weird thing. So Keep that in mind as a life lesson. Sometimes you think you're gonna do something and you think it's gonna be negative and it ends up being a really positive thing. Here are all the books currently in my store so you can see. So yeah, each of these had to be put on there and some of these have already been purchased and paid for. I actually have to pack them, but I can't ship till Monday. Today is Saturday. And then a lot of these I listed this morning and yesterday. But yeah, there's some good ones here. All of these are just from my personal collection, right? These are just books that I've had, you know, for a long time. I've been collecting for over 20 years. 
pretty cool, right? Tons of math books. Something else I was thinking of doing was putting together like a set. So I don't know if you all remember a long time ago, I made a video called Learn Mathematics from Start to Finish. And in that video, I basically went from the very, very beginning, like pre-algebra, all the way to pretty much an undergraduate degree in mathematics and more, right? I covered, covered a ton of content. It's funny because I remember the day I made that video. I remember I woke up and I thought, I don't really want to make it because I was tired. It's a lot of work. I had to get all the books. I had to find them. You know, I have a lot of books and just finding the books for a video like that is a monumental task because I have thousands of math and science books. In any case, what I was thinking about doing was creating like a box set. So where you have like basic algebra, algebra that's a little bit harder, a little bit harder, some trig, some calculus, one, two, three, and then maybe some differential equations. So just basically the entire mathematics sequence in a box set that you could bid on for a penny, you know, plus shipping. And I think that might be cool. Um, it would give people the opportunity to pick up a nice little set where they could use that to learn all the math from start to finish, at least for those subjects. You know, I don't know if I could, I guess I could do it for start to finish for all math. That would, that would take a lot of time. I have to find the books again. Uh, yes, yeah, so that, that's the hardest part, right? Just finding the books. Um, a lot of my books are in boxes. A lot of them are on the floor, as you can see. Um, so yeah, because I'm, I'm rearranging and going through all of them and, and, and just basically picking out the ones I really, really want to keep, which I'm really just keeping ones that have like sentimental value in many cases, sentimental value, or some that I just felt that I, I, I really like, you know, I really like those books. It took me a long time to get those books, but yeah, so maybe some type of like set like that where you can learn all math from one set. That might be an idea. I probably should do that uh, at some point. But yeah, check out that eBay store. It's ebay.com forward slash str forward slash the math sorcerer. I actually have it memorized. It's such an easy, easy URL. eBay's been okay. They, they take a lot. They charge like, I think it's like 15% for books. Plus there's other costs, right? Tape, the... <laughs> The envelopes, you know, it takes forever, but it's good. It's good. Subscribers are getting them and it's, uh, it's a good experience. And, I, and I'm keeping some of my books that I find great comfort in, in. And let me just say this again. I find extremely great comfort in the fact that I'm keeping, you know, some of my books. I should, I should show you maybe the books, some of the books I'm keeping. Um, maybe a little later in this video, I'll show you. I have a little stack and there's more I'm keeping, but it's my preliminary pile. A lot of them, uh, some of them are in Spanish. Uh, I have a lot of math books uh, by Mir Publishers and, I, and they're in Spanish. And I think I'm gonna keep most of those. I've got some books um, from Cuba that were sent to me by family members. So I'm keeping those books, you know, sentimental value. They were like printed in Cuba, you know? So, I mean, that, that's something I'm keeping. So stuff like that. Maybe some of the books I use as an undergrad or a grad uh, but not all, not all. Some of those will go. So, yeah. Sometimes, sometimes good things happen when you don't expect it, right? So keep that in mind. You know, you, you're going to take a class maybe, and you are not looking forward to the class because everyone says the professor sucks. And then next thing you know, you love the class because the professor is awesome, you know? So stuff like that happens all the time in life. And I think this is a good life lesson for me too, that Sometimes negative things can turn into uh, really positive ones. So yeah, yep. Anyway, subscribe, like, all that stuff. I have math courses, they're on Udemy, but if you get them, use my links from my website, mathsorcerer.com. Check out that eBay store. I've got other YouTube channels. I've got uh, a channel in Spanish, just like this one. And then I've got another channel, random channel, it's called the Internet Sorcerer, where I just post whatever, it's just a random channel. Anything goes on that channel. It's kind of like an anything goes. Uh, I, only I don't have that many subscribers there. So, but yeah, keep doing math like always. Take care. So I wanted to show you really quick. I know I was supposed to end this video, but these are some of the books I'm thinking about keeping. So, so far, this is my keep pile. Um, I know, Surfing and Health, right? Why would I keep that? Um, it's a book that, I mean, it's a fun book. I wouldn't say it's incredibly well written, but 
it's fun to read and I've read it. A book on coins. Uh, yeah, I'm a coin collector. Uh, a book in Spanish published by Mir Publishers Moscow. So, you know, you've got some random uh, stuff here. I also want to say that one of the really cool things about math books, and this is what makes them different from other collectibles, because remember, I, I am a collector. I've always been a collector since I was a little kid. I was a collector. I mean, I collected coins when I was like 10 years old. I remember, well, I sold my coin collection when I was 10 years old because I wanted to buy a Nintendo. And I remember that I didn't have enough money to buy a Nintendo, so I didn't get one. <laughs> so I had to wait a couple of years until, you know, that happened. But, so I was collecting coins even before then. But one of the interesting things about math books as a collector is that math books give you knowledge. So it's kind of like, it's a collectible that you can read. And, and a lot of times, you know, people will buy math books and they'll just, put them on, the, on their desk and they won't read them. And they'll, they'll just sit there and that's fine. That's fine because as long as you own it, you never know when you're gonna pick it up and you always have that opportunity, right? One day your board says, hey, what's this book? Let me just open it, you know? One thing you can do is put it somewhere that's prominent, right? Set it on the coffee table and you know, you'll pick it up from time to time and you'll look at it. Um, and a lot of times we do that not because we don't wanna read the books, just simply because, you know, there's so many other things going on in life, you know? Sometimes it's hard to find time to sit down and read for pleasure, you know, you know, to read a math book for pleasure. So it's it's something that that you could do. But yeah, they're collectibles that I mean, they just you could you can learn from them. And I don't think there's any other collectible that is quite the same. For example, coins you can look at and there's history to coins. You saw that coin book earlier, it has really pretty pictures and it tells you like the weight of each coin, the composition, you know. What percent is nickel? What percent is silver? What percent is gold? The year, the mint mark, how many were minted? Uh, all, all kinds of interesting facts and, and things. Uh, numismatics, which is, you know, coin collecting, is, is a wonderful field. Um, yeah, very, very interesting stuff. And collecting all types of things is interesting, but, the, but math books are unique because they have that knowledge. And it's not just surface knowledge, it's pretty deep, right? Mathematics is hard. It's challenging and people spend their entire lives studying it. So uh, it's kind of cool to try to collect knowledge. <laughs> now, if only we could figure out how to actually absorb all that knowledge from all those books uh, magically, then we'd be in good shape. But unfortunately, that's not how it works. We know that to learn math, you have to work hard. You have to spend time reading and reading math books, especially hard math books, takes takes a lot of time and energy, right? It takes a lot of time and energy. So yeah. Anyways, I really should end this video now, so I will. Take care. Keep doing mathematics.